Hi, I'm Charlie, the Herpetology Secretary, and today's video is on finding amphibians in your local area. This is a quick view of our team. You have five of us with Shane behind the camera, so I'm afraid you won't get her to see his face. And we're off. We're less likely to find amphibians this time of year, uh, even in kind of under logs and things, because they are beginning to overwinter. Uh, so they all burrow or go to the bottom of poles or um, live under logs and burrow quite, quite deep, some of them. Uh, so the likelihood of finding them is a bit low because it is getting cold. <laughs> so here we were looking for toads. We didn't find any. Uh, but there are two types in the UK, the common toad and the natterjack. The common toad is understandably far more common and the one we were most likely to find. So whilst we didn't find any toads, I will give you a bit of a lowdown. So the common toad is more likely to crawl. Um, so if you spot him, he'll be crawling. However, the natterjack toad is actually sometimes called the running toad because he can use his even shorter legs to run in short bursts. This picture is a toad my parents found in their garden under a plant pot. The Natterjack toad is differentiated from the common toad by a pale line down the middle of its back. We did head to the new forest. We found many habitats that we think would be absolutely perfect. However, we didn't actually see any amphibians on our trips. A forest Many so Oh, the dung beetle! Many beetles. Oh. Beetle boys. Yeah, there are a lot, as I said, lots of beetles. I see bugs, I do not see any lizardy folk. Oh, there's a newt here. Yeah. Oh! Hi! This is either a smooth or a palmate newt. I can't tell because I can't see his throat. Um, but they're usually found under damp things, and we found him under the log. Um, didn't particularly want to squish him. A good man. Yes, as you can see, he's out of breeding season. He's in his standard form. <laughs> um, in breeding season, they tend to get a crest down their back, which you can kind of see. So our newt here is most likely a smooth newt. They are more common and widespread, especially in England. Gender-wise, I've been using he, but outside of breeding season, it is very difficult to tell. We can go for a wander around. Do you want to go, yeah, do you want to go closer to the pond? Sure. Okay, so this is the sort of habitat we'd expect to find frogs, maybe newts. Uh, it's got the reeds and the water doesn't seem too deep. Um, but you wouldn't really find toads here because they're not big swimmers. They prefer to run or crawl. So we were lent these videos because unfortunately we didn't find any frogs ourselves. But these are most likely common frogs. It's hard to tell from the video, I'm afraid. But, uh, you are most likely to find the common frog. Uh, so, they are most active at night. However, if you disturb where they're hiding, so under rocks, in compost heaps, or even underwater, buried in mud and vegetation, they will hop out. So they're called common frogs, and they are widespread. They are thought to be declining, whether this is habitats or the introduction of disease from exotic species. So just a quick note, uh, if you're going to go looking for amphibians, the best port call is to not pick them up. We did pick the newt up partially to show you, but also because we wanted to put the log back down and we didn't want to accidentally squish him. Uh, he did run back under his log. So that's my first video over. If you have any questions, drop me a message, let me know. I'll see if I can help out. Otherwise, thank you for listening um, and I hope to see you soon.